G'day and welcome to Prop Maker. I'm Raf. This is the channel that helps you make stuff, restore stuff, and repair stuff. And today we're going to continue on with the tales from the crypt, where we're going to try and uh, finish assembling the playfield back, and we're also going to start addressing some of the problems up in the back box. Roll the thing. Right, so we're back into it and what we're doing is we're just doing some washing up, which is just basically all the plastics, all the wire forms, all the screws, nuts and bolts, we're just cleaning them with uh, some detergent and a toothbrush just to get into the nooks and crannies and we're jumping straight into drying them and we're going to then start reassembly of the playfield once all of this is clean. All of these plastics and uh, and stuff cleaned up really, really well. So we're happy with uh, their condition. There's no chips on the plastics. Everything looks pretty good. So as you can see, we're putting all the plastics back on and so these are all the plastics that are directly connected to the playfield before we put the wire forms back in place. And as you can see, we've added lights and turned them on. So we're replacing all the incandescent bulbs that were in the playfield with warm white LED ones. As you can see, there's also some rubber posts or rub, you know, posts getting covered with new rubbers. So and we've put our first ramp back onto the playfield. Rusty's just doing a bit of final cleaning and trying to clean up any bits that we spot that we missed before. A bit scratched up, but it's all right. Bit scratched. A bit light over there. You're on. You've got to get those edges. Yeah, that's the thing. Got a toothbrush there. It's perhaps you can't thing. do that one here. No, doing it with me, thumb. Just cleaning in the crevice there on the edge. Maybe if I put this camera down. 
And you can put that camera down, we can actually get some work done. Actually get some work done, yeah. We actually get things clean. All right, let's come back out. Now we're gonna do that. Sorry, I've just taken over a bit. Put a red globe, a cool LED, and a warm LED, and we'll see what they look like. Raph, what do you think? Yeah, I think that's it, right? Yeah, they are over here. And we have front two and three. Right, okay, so we'll slip you down there for now. Well, wow, that's good. These aren't bad at all. So now, so we get to see what it looks like, see? See? One's, and you'll go. Oh, and you go. Hmm. That one's clearer to me, but it's more defined. You can see an LED under it. That one's probably looking more. So that cord is almost worthless. Yeah. Well, no, would not be right. And sometimes, what was that cord? Sometimes the original is better. Incandescent is. Not in this case. No, that's pretty, pretty big. I like the red, actually. Yeah, the red's looking. That's quite, that's quite a sub part. Down there. If I get up there. Get my red. Let's see if we have a few reds. This wouldn't be happening. With some of the others, you, you really can't notice the red in there. But the red is giving it a bit more, a bit more richness. Same thing? Hmm. I think so. Very good. Screw it in. I think we'll, we'll lock that one in. I just, I just need to find a on the hole from whence it came. You know, not doing this somewhere. Screw the cap on. P1. Okay, here we go. It's screwing. Not too tight, kiddies. Not too tight, it will break the pop bumper bodice. How's that? I think we've got a bit of city ground, a bit of scrubbage to do around the rear. And of course, these are too hot. Yeah, that's a flasher, I believe.
But will he forget the key component? The key component is not yet installed. No, not yet installed. So, so just putting it in place. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. like bulb Correct. It's a little bit hard to put a bulb in when it's in the place. Jump over the year. Oh, get shorter on glides. have a determination and no, I think I'm going to replace I'm going to keep watching 
We're about to get this on the market. There's not, there's not any covers then. No, 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 I reckon they are the last of all verbs. This should be the song. This should be the song. No, push on. Oh, are they? Following your uh, your lead on working around the table. Ah! 
Hey! They said you could fly. Can't be closed forever. It's just not how this is going to work. It won't end. At all. We might have to get down into that switch. Yeah. I'm thinking downstairs is where we're going later on. Is that just going to So why did that fire be from? I know you closed the switch, but... I don't know. No, I might have hit that. No? I didn't notice on the fish car. Yeah, where's the scrubber?
Rifle in place. The plastic's going back.
that one's clear, so. I would leave that one. Because it's seen. And that one. Yes, Um, you sure that's right? Yeah. I don't know, I don't know. You're talking about this guy underneath the, the orange. Yeah.
we're going to finish off putting on all the ramps and you're going to get stuck into it. Hopefully we'll play it today. So this is where we left off on day one and day two we're going to start by opening up the back box and we're going to have a quick look in there. Russell just uh, switched off the machine. We're joined by Paul, another pinball whiz. And Russell's just removing the back box uh, speaker panel, speaker and LED display panel, um, so we can access the boards. Just a quick check of the plugs and Russell's going to start checking fuses just with a multimeter. This is a quick way of checking fuses basically while they're still in the machine. If you don't touch the actual um, clip and just touch the metal of the fuse then uh, it's a fairly easy check to make sure that uh, you've got continuity on both sides of the fuse. And all those fuses are looking good. Now, now Russell's just um, putting one of the sides of the probe to the multimeter onto the wiring of the general illumination of the lights in the backboard um, and just going to test the plugs to see whether we have continuity from the plug to the lights and we do. Everything seems to check out. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Raptor. Slip it in. Is that easy? <laughs> so now we're headed back into putting the wire forms and the rest of the play field uh, back together. At this point that we realise we did it slightly out of order. 
Uh, so Russell has an idea that maybe we can fit this um, particular wire form in uh, without having to remove the one that we put in a little bit early. And it that looks works. like we have that success. Works. into place. Too, hey? I'm just loosening. Loosening, please. We need to get a warm bow and slip it in there where we're at. We didn't have any. Now we got, we got plenty. We'll light it up. Well, the other ones are back in the shelf. Let's <laughs> go. 
Oh. Um. Put them in a tumbler. Dryer. Rock, tu rock tumbler. Oh, could I use my clothes dryer with rocks in it? Well, you can. But noisy. It'd, it'd be very noisy for some weeks. <laughs> really? For some weeks? Some weeks. I don't think I'd better sleep. <laughs>
we can investigate that. <laughs> well, uh, flashes are looking flash. Poplars are popping, ling, popping. Oh, I think we go upstairs. Go yeah. upstairs. First floor. Because you were getting to the plugs coming out. Oh, the plug. The plug. Do I need to? Plugs, this plug. Mm. Mm. That's the plug we were just talking about. Around, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Because, because
percent purple green. So on these solid state machines, they basically have a mode which allows you to test all the switches just by tripping them you know, just with your finger and on the screen it will report what switch uh, is actually being triggered. It allows you to test pretty much every switch on the play field. They switch it?
Beautiful right, going here, going up, going up. Left ramp. What does it say? Left ramp. Left? Oh, yeah, I suppose it is. Yeah, left ramp. So this one should now say. Right ramp. That's what it is. Oh, this is easy as it is. Mm -hmm. Right. Now. So these are the drop targets and they need replacing.
Thank you. What's going on here? Thank you. 
will say one of the two. I'm not sure. You got you bought twenty the other day.
So we're a bit closer to finishing the tails of the trip. We've only got a few things to do, or a couple of really small things to do on the play field to get it uh, completely up to snuff. We have a little problem with uh, uh, blade LED sort of popping out, but that's all right. I guess we're going to look at the back box with the general illumination problem and uh, and then the spruce up in the cabinet to come. Rusty, you want to wave goodbye? There. During multi-ball. <laughs> During multi-ball, anyway. And uh, you've been watching Prop Maker. Like and subscribe if you like to see roll the thing. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>